Hi Lions, thanks for joining me for another lesson. We are going to review the sounds, the phonics, spellings, and sounds that we've learned so far, and we'll practice them in new words as well. Okay, and remember we do this because you are going to encounter these, um, these sounds and everything that you read and everything that you write. So we want to help you to be automatic when you're reading and spelling. Okay, so this first phonic spelling, remember this is a vowel pair. A vowel pair is when you have two vowels um, that make one sound. And um, remember our saying, when two vowels go a-walking, usually the first one does the talking. So this is a long O. This says O. Together, O. Your turn. Good job. And we also learned this yesterday. Now, this isn't two vowels, but when you see O-W together, it also can say O, like in the word glow. Ready? O. Together, O. Your turn? Good. Now, the second sound this can make is ow, like, um, like bow. Please take a bow after your performance. Ow. Together, ow. Your turn? Good job. Let's keep going. This is one of our R controlled vowels. This says er together, er. Your turn. Good job. This also says er together, er. Your turn. Another R controlled vowel. That bossy R. Remember, C says s or k. It says s. If it's followed by E, I, or Y. Otherwise, it says K. So this says S together. S, your turn. Good job, Lions. All right, we have another one of our R controlled vowels. This is like in the word fork. This says or together, or your turn. Good job. I find that this one is easier to remember, this R controlled vowel pattern, because it spells the small word or that we see a lot. <clears throat> and this R controlled vowel says R, like in our car over here. R together, R, your turn. Good job. This is another one of our vowel pairs. So this says E together, E, your turn. Good, because when two vowels go a walking, usually the first one does the talking. Good job. S together, S, your turn. Good. This is one of our digraphs. This says F together, F, your turn. Good, just like in phone. Okay, this is one of our silent E syllables. The E at the end is silent, but it helps the first vowel make its long I sound. So this says I, together, I, your turn, good. Like the ice, whoops, I just dropped all the cards. <laughs> My turn, K, together, K, your turn, good. Like in cotton. My turn, s, together, s, your turn, good. Wait, my dogs are going crazy in the other room. Okay, this, remember, is um, the Y is acting like a vowel. So this is a vowel pair. So this says A, together, A, your turn, good job. Like the acorn. My turn, U, together, U, your turn, good like the unicorn. This also is one of our silent E syllable types. Remember, U has a second long sound, and the second sound is OO, together, OO. Your turn, good job, Lions. <clears throat> All right, this is a vowel pair, two vowels. When two vowels go a walking, usually the first one does the talking. So this says E, together, E, your turn, good job. All right, another vowel pair. So this says A, together, A, your turn, good job. <clears throat> My turn, K, 
Together, your turn, good. My turn, together, your turn, good. I think we're ready to take these C's out of here. My turn, O, together, O, your turn, good. This also is one of our silent E syllables. The E is silent, but it helps the vowel make its long vowel sound. And like the open door. My turn, A, together, A, your turn. Good. This also is a silent E syllable. My turn, E, together, E, your turn. Good, silent E. My turn, er, together, er, your turn. Good. This is one of our R controlled vowels. And it says er, just like the E-I, E-R, I-R, and you er. You are. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not sure what my dogs are doing out there. Okay, let's practice reading these sounds in words. Um, so we know when we see O-W, it can say O or it can say ow. So when we're not sure, we first try the O sound. Ready? Blown. Blown. The kite was blown through the air. Through the air. Okay, we have O-A, which is a vowel pair, which means the O will make a long O sound and the A will be silent. Let's read it. Cloak, cloak. A cloak is like a jacket. Um, it's like between like a, um, a shawl and a jacket, okay? We have O-A again, which of course, again, it's a vowel pair because O and A are two vowels. So the O will be long and the A silent. B, boast, boast, boast. If you boast, it's another way of saying you're bragging. Okay, now let's look here. O, W can say O or it can say ow. So we always try O first. Crone, crone. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Let's try ow. Ready? Crown crown. A crown is something that a king would wear. We have vowel, consonant, consonant. So this is a closed syllable type because the O in this word is blocked in by two consonants. So this is a short vowel sound. Clock, clock. I know our first graders are going to pick up clocks next week to help them with their math work. Okay, we have O-A, which is a vowel pair. The rest of these are syllables. So O-A is a vowel pair, so O will make a long O sound, A will be silent. Ob, ob, good. Now let's look here, we have O-P, so vowel consonant. So that is a closed syllable type. When we have closed syllables, it's a short vowel sound. So let's sound it. Grop, grop. Very good. Now, OA, we've practiced OA quite a bit today. So we know OA is a vowel pair. And so the O will be long. Ready? Oast, oast kind of like in the word toast. OA again, so we know it's still a vowel pair, so this will be a long O. Ready? Ode, ode, good job. Okay, now we are going to do our morphemic transformations. And the base word that we are going to work with today is called select. So this is our base word, select. So select is a verb. So I'm gonna write verb up here, okay? Remember a verb is an action word. Um, so when you select something, you're choosing it very carefully. 
like when I go to the grocery store, I select my apples very carefully. I make sure they don't have bruises on them, that they, um, you know, sometimes you'll see little fingerprints in them or fingernail marks. I, I select my apples very carefully. So when you select something, it's an action. It's something you're doing. That's why it's called a verb. Okay, now let's add the past tense suffix to this word. And so now it is select id, selected. Remember, ed is a suffix we add to a base word that means it already happened. So if I selected an apple, I already did it. That means um, I could say, I selected an apple this morning, or I selected an apple yesterday. It already happened. Um, and so that is still a verb, but one that already happened. Okay, now I could also add the ing, ing suffix, which means it's happening now. I am selecting an apple. That would mean I am picking it right now at this minute. I'm choosing it carefully. So it's still a verb, selecting. All right, but now I'm going to change this into a noun. So let me write noun. And I'm going to add the shun suffix. So now it's selection. So selection, um, there was a great selection of apples at the grocery store. So it's now become a noun because it's a thing. Okay, remember a noun is a person, place, or a thing. So if I said Safeway had a great selection of apples, I'm talking about a thing, things actually. Okay, now I'm going to change it from selection to selective. And so my sample sentence is, I am very selective with the apples that I purchase from the store. This becomes an adjective. So an adjective is a describing word. Um, describing words describe a noun, so a person, place, or thing. I am selective. So it's describing how I am. That means I'm very picky or choosy when it comes to purchasing my fruit. So just by changing the suffix, you, um, you change the type of word that it becomes. So knowing the different suffixes and what they mean and how they change the word can help you to become a word detective and really good at understanding words. So good at comprehending as well. So that's why we practice this each day. All right, Lions, that's all for today. Join me tomorrow because we're gonna practice spelling our sight syllables and we will have some new sight syllables to learn as well. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for another lesson. Have a good day. Bye, Lions.